Hey everybody, welcome back to the carriage play of Suicone 2 for our final episode. Cheers! We're having a drink with Victor. Yep. Um, so the, the thing to wrap up... Leona went, on, uh, went to, uh, to one of the nearby cities to restock her supplies of whiskey. Is the explanation why you can't get people. Um, so, you know, the, the narrative thread that's loose is where the hell is Joey? And, and there, if we remember back to the very beginning of the game, there is a little place where Joey might be. Where do you think that might be? Um, well, if he said, if we ever get split up, meet me back here, right? Let's go to Kiaro Town first. Just because it's going to be our first time back in a while. Okay. Just see how things are going there. And the, the pass itself is near here. So, Lebrino... Is that even spelled differently? Lebrino... Has been occupied by the Martha Army. What's going to happen to this town? Carrie, I'm so glad you're okay, but what about Joey and Nanami? Ooh. So he didn't come back after all. I guess, the war. Remember when we used to talk to townspeople? Glad to see you back, Gary. What will you do now? Are you going to live at the dojo? Some people say they saw a mysterious shadow there. Could a ghost be living there? Foreshadowing. Tightly closed gate. I heard a rumor that Captain Roud fled to the south. Oh god, he's still alive? Hey there, they say that Carrie of the Martha Army is very dashing. Even though there's a war going on, living in this town makes it feel like it's happening in some far away world. My father says he'll be okay. He says he'll protect me, even if the bad guys from the Martha Army come. So I'm not scared. <laughs> Mike Tyson. Uh, do you want to stop by the dojo? Yeah. Let's go check out the item shop, though. Alright, the dojo. The dojoey. No, nothing? Yeah, that's my nickname. Dojo. E. E. Dojo. Hey, we're back home. None of me sweet and sour pork. Smells good. Huh. It's been sitting there forever. There's mold growing on the top. Maybe. Can you... There we go. It'd be nice if it said, like, freshly placed flowers. Hey, did you notice, uh, you still have that... Uh, the indentation on the rock wall. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> From, so, uh, so God of War 2018. God, I love this game. Oh, I love this place. Is there anything we can click around in here? Find? Not slept in recently. Oh. Question mark book? What do books do? You can give it to the librarian. Oh. Right? I don't know. I think I think that's right. <laughs> bye bye lamb. Bye uh, bye hex doll. Yeah. <laughs> was that why your inventory was full of all those goddamn hex dolls? Yes. Mysterious. Okay. So, uh, where are we heading? Mokumuku's home. Oh, okay. Can I check up here one last time? Hunter rune. <laughs> wow, it's just the hits keep coming. <laughs> Whoa, what the F? What's this trio painting? Do you... I'm... 
I'm gonna set it up in the bath just to see what it looks like. Dirty potch? What is this? I don't know. <laughs> Sick. Weird. Oh, that was cool. That was weird. <laughs> that was so cool. I have a theory about the painting and the hunter rune and stuff. And but I'm not going to say... What's that? And the 30 podge. And the 30 podge. Um, but I'm not going to say it until... That was Things weird. Are... I don't think I've ever seen like that. No, cool, I have cool not. animation thing. I, I was afraid. I thought like, oh god, is, is this like a new ending where you just like go and like live your life out at the dojo? Yeah, that'd have been a sick ending. Yeah, dude. Okay. All right. Where are we going? The pass, right? The pass. The pass. It's a pass or fail. Sit up here. Yes. All right. So, if everybody remembers when uh, the our Boy Scout camp was attacked, the Unicorn Brigade and Raud was chasing us through the forest there was a rock up here before, next to the waterfall Next to the waterfall. before we jumped, Joey made a X or like a line and then we made another line in it to make an X and we said that if we ever split apart, we'd meet back up here I like how different this looks. It looks like dry and yeah, like like time has passed. Or I mean, I guess we've only seen it in the nighttime, right? Yeah, maybe. Peaceful. Here's yeah. where our camp was. Okay. Yo, by the way, should we have looked at what that painting was? What is a hunter rune? You get 5% enemies drop items. Hmm. Uh, the painting, I think you put it up in the bath. Portrait of three people. Is it of Joey, Nanami, and us? Yeah. Okay. I think I know what it is, the painting. And Look at how much freaking spicy stew we have. Holy Christ. That's a, what a spicy stew. Spikesky. Oh, here we go. Hey. Oh, what? what's he doing here? Gary, you came. Just like you promised. Here we are. Here once again. This is where our journey began. You and I walked along the same path for so long together. But this is where they began to diverge. But I have no regrets. Really? <laughs> but if I did, it would be that if I had to betray the city-state and assassinate Lady Annabelle. <laughs> this is like the equivalent of like, um, well, I'm not saying I have regrets, but I have this friend who has regrets. Yeah. <laughs> <I d> <laughs> you and I were a lot alike, are we? <laughs> we were both aiming for the same thing, but I just... At the Highland camp, after I let you both, uh, uh, let you both to escape ahead... I was captured and met Luca Blight again. I hated him from the beginning, it's true, but I think I admired his strength a little bit too. I thought if I was that strong I could protect everyone and I could create a gentle world where no one would ever be hurt. But... No. Forget about it. This is a battle between the King of Highland and the leader of the Martha army. This is truly... The final battle. We don't need to fight. Yep. We do need to fight, Carrie. Okay, you know the drill. Right? Defend? Yeah. Always defend. So what happens if you beat him up? Is it a different ending then? Yes. Uh, then you just head back to the um, conference room and you take over as the president of the New Republic. Let's test your strength. This is like such a cool... Okay, so like, to get the true secret ending, all of the hoops you need to jump through. It's like, get all the characters, keep find, everybody alive, keep everybody alive, find Joey, then don't attack him, just defend forever. Well, I mean, that's the, you know, the message of the shield room. Yeah. Carry you. 
And I like that he defended too. Because he's not attacking. Yeah. Carry you. What's funny is if you wild attacked, then Joey would kill you, right? <laughs> Why? Why have you come all this way only to decide now not to fight? There's no reason to fight you. There is a reason to remove any trace of the Highland Kingdom in this land. Agarus Blight and Luca Blight are already dead, and I've put Jillia to rest with my own hands. Liar. I'm the last living Blight. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the Blight bloodline once and for all, or there will always be fanatics who will try to revive the Highland Kingdom. Not really. After all, sometimes hope can drive people to madness. Let's make our war the last war ever to plague this land. No, that's naive. He's a real dummy. At best, he's a real dummy. Let's test your strength, Carrie. And at worst, he's... I don't know. <laughs> Huge dipshit. You. Let's finish this long, long battle. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oof. You're the leader of the Martha army, Carrie. Yeah, Joey just totally doesn't even get where we're all about. <laughs> Carrie, you... Let's finish this long, long battle. Yeah, I can't take too many of those. You're the leader of the Martha Army, Carry. Yeah, do we still defend through this one? Yep. Always defending. Carry you. Let's finish this long, long it. battle. Yeah, I can't take too many more of these. Does he stop short of killing you, or what happens here? Well, it depends on how strong oh. you are. You know, you know, this is very, this is variable based on your level and your hit points and armor. Carry. I was always jealous of you. There's something about you, always so strong and gentle. That's all that I ever wanted, to be loved by everyone, just like you were. And that's why. Joey. I, I used too much power. The beast ruined that Luca tried to free. I like how many portraits Joey has over the game. Yeah, boatload. Probably, definitely more than everybody else. Yeah. I had to use use my black sword rune to stop it. Our two runes together, they make a true rune. But if you use it by your, itself, it takes your life. It's pretty metal. <laughs> Carrie, I'm going to die anyway. So I give you my life so the two can become one again. Carrie, your right hand. Nope. I can't do that. Carrie, I... I'm sorry. I can't stand it anymore. All the lives that I stole. All the people I hurt. I can't do that. Please, I beg of you, don't let our dream have been in vain. I can't do that. Carrie, there's no time. Please, I'm already... Even so, I can't. Gary! He's what, going Super what, Saiyan. What's this? The rune! This power, it's healing my body! More power! <laughs> Time to renew the war! <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, hey, like that. <laughs> Just chilling in the background. The rune of beginning. It only appears when the holders of the two runes face each other in combat. Just as when this world was first born. Carry, even so, you chose not to fight. That spirit and the spirit of the 108 stars of destiny. They have called forth the power of the true rune of beginning. Carry, just as I thought, you are a strong man. Please go. Carry, Joey, the world is still mostly unknown to you, <laughs> overflowing with new things. There's no reason for you to stay in these lands. But I murdered people <laughs> with my own two hands. Yes, thank you for... Yes. Lady Annabelle, Luca Blight, and all those soldiers. You killed Luca Blight with no, your you hands, didn't. buddy. No, you did not. Come bud. on. My sins are heavy. And they will not disappear so long as you live. But I believe you are strong enough to go on and make this world a better place. I'm out. Peace. See you in Suicoden 3. Sort of. Kind of, not really, though. The man called Joey Blight has no place in this world anymore. But I can forget this land, forget the name Joey, and maybe I can start again. <laughs> <laughs> you must... No, I don't, don't go to that. Of course. Yeah. Is that an of course situation? I, we, we've got to be supportive here. <laughs> Carry a little bit of time, a little bit too much growth is nice animation there. Yeah, it was three quarter. Oh, and it like the head fell. This was the place where our journey began. How many hours have passed since we were first here? About sixty. Let's go, Carry. Let's make this place the beginning of our journey. Let's make a new X. Hey, all right. Joey's back in the party, and it's his old portrait. Yeah. All right. His armor sucks. <laughs> Is that the same shitty armor that... <laughs> Probably. Wow. Would be cool to take that, uh, his rune for a spin. Yeah. Okay. Off... <laughs> Jump! <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh... Where now? I don't know. Jarrow? Yeah, let's head that way. To that tree? Oh. Rowd. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I would find you here. <laughs> if we hadn't run away then... Then we'd have problems, because without you two, we wouldn't have peace in this land. Sup. So, Lord Carey, so you're leaving, eh? I had hoped that you would stay and lead this country. You're the right man to do it. But I won't try to stop you. You've certainly paid your dues, and then some. We could ask no more of you. Go out there and see the world. Feel the world. It's still a big world to you. Has somebody told you the same thing? <laughs> Very... Anyway. And I hope that when you're finished with your journey, one day... You'll come back. We won't. There's just one thing I have left to report. Although I was asked not to tell you until this point, I'll understand if you wish to punish me for disloyalty. When Nanami fell in the kingdom, the, uh, the Matilda Nightdom. Flashback. What? But how could you fail? Quit it, Flick. He did all he could. Don't take your anger out on him. I know that, I know, but... But what about Carrie? Damn it, Kiba and Nanami. They fought along with us, and even though he won, even though we've come so far... Huh. Damn. Carrie. Lord Chu. What is it? 
Can I speak with you inside? This better be good, son. <laughs> Sir Shu, I'm Toad's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Da 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 da! <laughs> Aww. Does that warm your heart? Yeah. Oh, Dr. Juan. Nanami pulls out a lead medallion that was her friendship medallion. Says, it's made of bulletproof lead. Yep. <laughs> Let's not sing that again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I asked Dr. Juan. Something on your mind? Yes. I. I'm thinking about getting away from Carrie for a while. We need a split. Carrie will be saddened to hear that. I know, I know that, but... But it's hard for me, Carrie and Joey fighting. Also, it's hard for me to see Carrie in pain. When there were arrows raining down on us and Carrie tried to shield me with his body, I realized it. Carrie shouldn't do such a thing. He's too important for that. A leader of men can't behave like that. That's... that's why I'm going to let you have him all to yourself for a while. What will you do? I'll go back to Grandpa Ginkaku's house. I think it's safe, and besides... Besides, when this is all over, that kid will need a place to return home to, right? Also, I have a favor to ask. If it's ever time for Carrie to come home, tell him about this conversation. Why do you ask me to do it? Because I figured if it, it, it's you, you'd never tell him until it was absolutely necessary. Yeah, you're right. I'll do it. Huh. Interesting. She was alive all along. If you did, played it just so. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't play it like that, she actually did, does die. And so, that's it. And those are my final words to you as your strategist. Take good care of yourself, Lord Carey. And fuck you, Joey. <laughs> fuck you, buddy. <laughs> She's like, wow, that was a lot quicker than I expected. I thought it'd be like years before you come home. So with the mysterious ghost shadow that was living in the dojo, the kid was talking about. Look at how sick it is that we have a backpack on. Yeah. Well, Say goodbye Joey's... to Kaku. Get an anime. Yeah. Pilika and Julia. Yeah, already set up in Harmonia. So we've got Norris. Aw. Cool dog. Cat. Aw. <laughs> Breaks my heart a little. Yeah. Very Uncharted 1 moment right there. <laughs> Drops her camera. Aw, oh, this is so sweet. I love this so much. Became mayor of Greenhill and made peace with the Korea. Left Greenhill to sharpen his skills as a swordsman and never returned. Returned to the Doom Leaf Academy, later became headmaster and also taught at the school. Returned to Mew City and was later elected as mayor. Oh no. <laughs> After your ending term as acting mayor, choose to live as a normal citizen. Became a commander of the Martha National Army. Refused, Refused a position in the country of Martha and returned to live in Red Hat. As promised, she returned to Red Hat with Freed and lived with Happily Ever After. Founded a library in Tinto City and taught many children the love of learning. 
fought in the Grasslands War as a captain of the Tinto City Forces. Uh, living happily in Two River City, where she opened a restaurant. Well, wow. Occasionally visits Marlowe and marvels at his great scholarship. Return to the White Deer Inn to live a happy life with Alex and Pete. Return to the White Deer Inn. <laughs> but can't seem to lose treasure hunting bug. Uh, what was... Once the war was over, ended his long career as a knight in the service of justice. Reform Matilda Nightdom, selected as commander, but politely declined the honor. Reform Matilda Nightdom, along with Mikletov, and then journeyed to the grasslands. Still a private investigator in Raddit City. Maybe we just pick out the, our favorites here to read out loud. <laughs> this is killing us. I like it. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. It's like... It's... Yeah. The test. Yeah. It's so sad, you know, it's kind of... Kind of saying farewell, slowly the rollout. Slowly. Yay! Yeah, I love these. God, this game is so good. <laughs> Chaco trying to get burned. Sheena playing cards. Yeah. I would have liked some like events like this during the game. You uh -huh. know, just like you walk into town and you know there's a festival or something. Well, you gotta pay money if you see those. That's like the DLC. <laughs> Return to her life as a traveling performer, but often thinks of Carrie. Leads a group of performers with Ellie and Bogan and travels around the world. Return to his life in the traveling circus, but continues to study hard. Travels with her music group, sharing her beautiful voice with people everywhere. Travels with Anna Lee and continues to get in the trouble wherever he goes. Travels with his group of <laughs> while improving the armor skill while he what he what that he learned in Crom. Return to Kaku and his life of. Uh, Rivalry and moral uh, turpitude. Enjoys a life of fishing on the shores of Lake Torren. Currently traveling to try to discover the edge of the world. Left the Martha army to once again pursue Uber. Journeying to Kanakan, south of the Torren Republic, in search of the mystery, the mystery of the Sindar. Plan to investigate the ruins of Kanakan before Keeley can. Return to his wife, where he lives con contentedly as a father and husband. Aw. Reuniting her parents, currently living happily at home with both of them. Journeyed to the grassland without saying a word to anyone. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Stayed in the Mother Army as magic instructor, still infuriating as ever. With his contract over, he left like a ghost. Whereabouts unknown. Bad Traveled ass. to the Toran Republic to challenge her rival. Oh, oh Valeria. <laughs> Is that like a SDI? Valeria? <laughs> Gross. She con contracted, contracted Valeria. Valeria. I guess it sounds closer to malaria. <laughs> it's VD malaria. Valeria. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, the wingers. Hey, what are you, you son of a bitch, you bastards? We don't need to do the voice if it, it's too hard, Joe. Return to Two Rivers, where he continued as leader of the Cobalt Army. Return to Two Rivers, currently stirring up lots of trouble with his pals. Living somewhere in Two Rivers, where he does his best to frighten the townsfolk. Achieved his desire by becoming captain of the Marcus Army's Cobalt Unit. Uh, currently performing admirably as Captain Gedgen's first lieutenant. Finally found her grandpa and returned home to with Taro. Aww. Journey to the Holy Kingdom of Harmonia to continue his studies abroad. <laughs> Left with Vincent on the journey to the Holy Kingdom of Harmonia. Still working as the armor of Mainzer Castle. Stayed in the nation of Martha to, and became captain of the bodyguards. Returned to his life of wandering. His whereabouts are currently unknown. Returned to Klon in the Toy Republic where his explosion, explosion was resembled. Living <laughs> happily with her daughter's family in Two River. His gambling house in Mainzer Castle is still a raging success. Returned to Lake West, where he's building the largest bathhouse in Martha. Traveled north once again in search of the object of his revenge. What? Wow. Never forgets to do his daily runs, squats, push-ups, and sit-ups. Training daily with her teacher, her goal is to beat a bear with her bare hands. Bear bear. Bear bear bear. No. Everybody enjoying our voices? <laughs> Gene, dude. Destroy it! Whoa. Whoa! How badass would have that happen if it happened to the game? Yeah. But it's like how crazy they designed that animation for that. Yeah. 
Riding on Gadget, she took off on an adventure to find Jupo. Continues to allow Meg to travel with him despite his her self selfishness. Return to Quiet Village in Crom. Return to his quiet life in Crom Village. <laughs> Journey north towards the Dorn Republic. Gain great fame as a swordsmith while continuing to work at Martha Castle. Works as an appraiser while searching for the Celadon to bring collection for to collection to thousands. Set off for a tour in Republic to battle Crowley, the wizard, his arch rival. Tired of war, he retired as a mercenary and returned to wife and child in Zexan. Still living in the nation of Martha and trying to expand Gordon industry. Decided to retire from life of thievery, but first he realized that it was a terrible mistake. <laughs> Continue to work hard uh, growing delicious vegetables in the fertile fields of Tinto. Go! Uh, the Cop by the organization. Oh, shoot. Or not caught. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> We're falling behind. Uh, Jean returned to Ante from uh, the uh, Torn the, Republic. The, the men of Kutsko still go to see Karen dance, annoying their wives greatly. Okay, luck. After the war, he continued his role uh, as his considered his role ended and returned to like not service. Um, with Taiho or Hayo, with Hayo, if you'd finished his cooking battle arc, his thing is different. Yeah. His, uh, he would have, like, retired in peace instead of going off to cooking battle the organization. Return quietly to the forest. Nice. No place to return. He still protects Major Castle from all enemies. Return to the forest from whence he sprung. Muku Muku. My boy. Boy. Set off again. On a journey uh, to find the one temple of the Crystal Ballet. <laughs> Set off for the Crystal Ballet with Humphrey in search of a dragon. Travel the grasslands and search for a bride for Bonaparte. Uh, Hanzo returns to Rokaku. Uh, a Sasquatch returns to Rokaku. Commandeered a ship and returned to the island countries. Stayed in Martha as a Beastmaster. A Moved back to the Cobalt Village where he complains a lot and lives a happy life. Uh, she re uh, Ida returned to the Deep Forest, live in harmony with nature. Turned with Shiro to the woods near Eube. Lives off the land. Shiro is always seen by the side of his master, Kinnison. Like, a lot of these people are just like, oh, okay, shit's gotta get back to normal. Yeah. Looking at the fort one last time. <laughs> oh, love that animation. Love that animation. Hey, what do you want to do? I don't know. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> so what happens if you don't get, like, Hicks and Tangar? It, this must be different. Oh, they're heading into the fort. Are they going to try to rebuild the fort? I don't know. I don't know how to interpret that. <laughs> uh oh. Nina marries Flick. Instead of going back to Warrior's Village, sets off on a journey with Victor. After destroying de uh, destroying that lord, and that lord sets out on an aimless journey for a change of pace. Tried to, but couldn't follow Flick. Still waiting in Greenhill for him to return. Decided to hang around with humans instead of returning to Blue Moon Village. Became the first vampire hunter and started to look for a new life. Set off once again on his hunt for Elsa. Yeah, that also would be different. Drank too much champagne and accidentally tele teleported herself off somewhere. Continued his coming-of-age journey with Tengar. Received Village's blessing for marriage, currently waiting for Hicks to propose. <laughs> During the Matilda campaign, he led his own un uh, unit and was killed at the mercenary fort. Stayed in Martha and received training as a military strategist. Returned to Rokaku, but still visits Gregminster at least once a week. Became keeper of the nation of Martha's National Vault. Returned to Muse to begin uh, to heal the pe uh, all the people injured during the war. Continued his advanced training in the art of medicine while assisting Dr. Juan. Yeah. Shows up in Suicon 3. They say there's never an empty chair at the, uh, her tavern at Manger Castle. Returned to Torn to get some extra gold and then set off on a journey of exploration. Said goodbye to Shu and set off on her journey to research the life of Matthew. And Mary Sheena... Dream. Dreams of a quiet life, even as he continues to play a vital role in Martha. After reuniting in Chiaro, the three friends continue their journey merrily. To him, the smiles of Joey and Nanami are the greatest treasures. All right. Ah. <sighs>
We done good. We done did it, everybody. We beat Swoo Cohen. <laughs> Swoo. Swoo. Yeah. Dun dun dun. Yo, Murayama Yoshitaka. He's your boy. There's um one programmer, huh? Oh, no, never mind. The um I uh texted you that um that 3DS game that uh Murayama had come out of retirement to write um is coming to PS4. Mm -hmm. So maybe something to do for the channel. That'd be sick. Saito Jun What do you think these people are doing now? Not working at Konami. <laughs> or if they are, they're making Pachinko games. That's the sad part. Uh, the CGI designers, sorry buds, your work wasn't very good. Well, I mean, they've got to start somewhere. Ken! Ken! So what's this cave wall all about? Huh. So mountains. I think you, you'd have, um... Like the like the Suicodens, like they just exist in the world. Like there, there's a prerequisite for them to happen. You know, enough people born under like 108 people born under different signs all come together for to create some lasting political change. So I mean, that's been going off on since the beginning of time, supposedly in this universe. So maybe this is just some ancient re recording of an early Suicoden or. The, the ruins It's themselves. just like a repeating texture, though, of, like, mountains. I'm just headcanon. Like, why they would be showing us this. Because it doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe Sindar ruins? Oh. Yeah. Because, I mean, that's always going in the background. This, this ancient race of people who built great monuments and then disappeared and had some sort of, like, like, vast understanding of how the runes and the universe worked. Mm -hmm. The Warsaw Philharmonic. Nice. <gasps> Jersey. Jersey Boys. Nick James! Nick James, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the funniest thing I've said this entire playthrough. <laughs> Just referencing a Dave Chappelle skit. Yeah. Oh, Fumi Ishikawa. She's great. She did the uh, all of the character art. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, Onuma Yuruko did all the production support. Well, no, it's, there was a bunch of artists there. I know, but, I know. Okay. Special take thanks. A, take a joke. It's, it's music production facing. Oh. We're already in the special thanks. You know, not super long credits. No. Not a lot of people made this game. More than two people, though. Oh. Junko Kawano. Junko Kawano is partially responsible for the ending theme? I guess. Why is there so many people responsible for the ending theme? I don't know. Or maybe this is still special thanks. And oh, that's and just maybe saying it's just... what the name of the ending theme is oh. unrelated to this. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, Junko Kawano. She, I don't believe, worked on this at all. Um, she's probably gearing up for um, Shadow of Destiny at this point. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, this would have come out... You know, we should play Shadow of Destiny at some point for the channel. Oh, dude. Inaba! Inaba! That's another thing we should play for the channel. Oh, we got a new something. I think that's supposed to represent the sword and the shield oh. rune and the rune of beginning together. Cool. All rights reserved by Konami. Yeah, what are they doing now? <laughs> mm. 
making people angry on the internet. Yeah. You ready? This is what that painting is, I'm sure. Yep. It all worked out. It would have worked out sooner if it wasn't for somebody. I'm not pointing fingers. <laughs> is that is are the hero pulling down the, the hem of his tunic? Yeah, it kinda got bunched up. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, everybody. Do you think, think this is this is the it's just sorry. Do you think this is the tree behind Gintaku's house? Yes. Well, I don't know. Because that was sort of a cliff and this seems like it's rolling into a pasture, maybe? I'm not sure. Sorry, that didn't I No. Sorry I interrupted. That's a fine question. I was just gonna lead us out. Alright. Thank you everybody for sticking with us. It's been a long playthrough and we're we respect this game and everything it it is. Yeah. It's a good one. If we could make something a, a fraction of with the, the, the fraction of this game's heart and like you know the it's polish and it's just everything about it i mean that would it would still be a masterpiece i think mhm yep bye everybody